on a double off setup like we saw with Cajun and Yugi, they need to be they need to be on point. They're gonna have some chances, and this is another one of those maps where things can get confusing and hectic. Yeah, absolutely. Look at conflict. And just to see which way. He is intense. They're gonna need him. They're gonna need conflict. They're gonna need all the stars to show up if you're off to gaming. Everyone needs to pick up the pace. This lineup on paper should be able to do some damage between Yugi, Config, and Cajun. Especially Yugi and Config are like these two highly skilled players. Really there was strong. already rotation heading this way. Flashbang set up to try and help out Tabson, but he's going to go down. Gade was actually maybe the only player who did something reasonable on Dust 2. Getting the one oh, kill, Tizian sniping away against Config. That's going to be good, even if the bomb is down. And oh god, B gets one kill. They barely get him before he's out of the picture. And Dave's still fighting. He almost adjusted to pick up that kill, but now Snappy's alone up here at the high ground. One versus two. They have a smoke as well, so he probably sees where the bomb is planted. But can he actually make this happen? Almost running out of bullets, and he is out of bullets. The, one second left. He can't actually get it done. The defuse is happening inside, and Tizian takes him down. <laughs> if there was a heartbreaking way to start, certainly be losing the pistol. A heartbreaking way to lose the pistol might just be running out of bullets. Be in Pop Dog? You can get a bit uncomfortable if they have a lot of smokes or molotovs, but um... this is a great risk to take. All you would lose is is an SMG, so you now have so much information and there's no noise outside whatsoever. Double peak, that's a great timing. Dizzy on the shoulder peak, he's able to get around very very fast. There should be a pretty big rotation from Big. Done it again. <laughs> Just so much information now to work with. Long range here, Tizzy on the M4. Oh, he gets the straight headshot taking down Gay. That's well done. And now when they try and get down to the low ground, they've got to be quick because that flank is coming in from Smuya. Quick trade, still not bad for next at all. That MP9 winning the first fight now. Another seven or eight seconds, and Smuya should be in position. He's going to run right into Config. Great turnaround for him. Great shot from Yugi. Now a 2-1-2 two -two down on the low ground. No bomb plant yet. Long range spray as Yugi takes down Tizian. And now Tabson. Hero of Dust 2 coming in for a 1 versus 2. He's got 25 seconds. He knows they have to put down the bomb, so it isn't really on him, although he might still get a bit nervous walking out. Did he see it up on the high ground? He certainly did. Convict. Oh, he misses the chance. Still going to get the headshot. And now Yugi fighting him and hitting the headshot. Great triple and a big save. It was very expensive, but they made it work. Very Both good. ops are outside, though. Those, I mean, that's going to be a tough retake if they hit this inner site. It's going to be a tough for them to take it, but if they do succeed in taking the bomb site, they're gonna have. They're gonna be able to reap the benefits. Oh, let's hope they for the back of the train, trying to deny it's easy in some of the positions that he might want to be in. And all of those smokes, very hard to line up a kill. You can see Optica getting a lot of control of the bomb site without even seeing anybody. And Yugi gets the kill before Gay goes down. So this is all good news. Got B sneaking on close. He needs a big double, and he's only gonna get the one. So save the orbs and make a run for it. Great hit for Optic. And this is a very, very important beginning for the Danish side right now. It's a bit of a building a slow redemption arc, Moses. Yeah, just to just be able to feel a little bit better of yourself after that first map. And I, I'm actually astounded that Big didn't get more done with that. A few missed shots, yes. Optic wrapping around kind of through Tizzy and off. But still, three players that enter bomb site. Feels like you should be able to get more than just the one. At least the ops are going to be saved. You can still force by behind this if you're Big as well. You can go for upgraded pistol and armor with utility. Money's not great for Optic, so they're not quite ready to chase these down. So we are very aware. Config goes down right at the end. Two so to two. You say it first, and then. <laughs> so they can blame me afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're listening to Moses. Deagle on Tizzy and CZ on Gobby and Nex. The ops have to ring true. A lot of emphasis towards this inner bomb site early on for Optic. Great kill for, oh my God, the follow-up. He's gonna get an AK out of it. That might be the round. Now the ops ring out. What a hold from God B, and what do you do if you're Yugi? You're dodging off shots left and right. That was the bomb as well, by the way, yeah. in Pop Dog, so it was already bad. And it somehow got worse. <laughs> oh, Lord. The dagger from God B. Double kill. If you, I mean, what? I mean, if you're up to the rest of Optic Gaming, you just don't even know what to say at that point, right? It's like, oh, cool. <laughs> We've given up the round. Yugi trying to fight his way back. This is actually a really good play. The flank coming out of ladder root, I mean, excuse me, of Ivy. Snappy could do so much damage. He spots one. Don't want to take that. He's giving away his position. Smooya is able to adjust the AWP. 50 seconds left for them to juggle the attention of this big defense. 
but they're slowly have a chance to fight themselves back into it. Still, the bomb is the tough part, going into ladder room with two players here. They do have a Molotov on Yugi. Oh, if they put it right there. No, not going to be there in time. Tizian takes the peek, and that smoke's going to fade, and that will give Snappy a very, very hard position to hold. Smuya will take him down. There was, I mean, there was a chance at the end of that 2v3, definitely. Well, maybe just only, but, uh, then you look at the scoreboard, and you're like, we only need to add one or two more. Just a little bit. Still would be a hard transfer. Yeah, and very hard once you hear that orb shot ringing out to guess that maybe the AK is going to be close. He has fallen back in the meantime, Tizzy, and so they're just going to leave Tapson up there for a minute. Tolls, maybe not even going for the kill, just trying to make a presence known to force back any kind of aggression or make sure they can't cheat a player elsewhere. They just have to go for this straight up hit. Smoke landing towards the C connector. It's not bad at all, but it doesn't block off the guy who was boosted on top of the hut there. Smuya has a reasonable idea of what's coming now. Nice flick to take down Snappy. Gonna open it up and big win this round. Optic gonna be economically reset once again. Turning around for the flashbang. He almost shot right between them. That was close. Next followed up with a great double spray to take down Cajun and Convict both. Now the bomb is gonna go down and yeah, this can actually work out. If they win this round, Optic though, they could start to bring it back. Taps crouching in. Almost walked into that shot, and back around the corner is Yugi now with a one versus two. He's going to pick up the one kill, and now he has to hide. Try and keep out of line of sight of Tabson, who's been playing so well. He goes for the fight, and he's going to win it. Yugi having a good game. Quad kill in this one. A triple earlier, and now it's three to three, and that is actually just really well done. That's that's phenomenal. Maybe you want to avoid that. Classic gamble. Oh, oh my lord. Well, that's a gamble. Instant jackpot. Easy and taking the kill. Gade going for a bit of a repeat here. I've got to be very, very careful. If he the bomb side to see the grenades first, 30 seconds, which is very young, very nervous making because if the bomb goes down at this point, you are just simply not going to have enough time to pick it up and go for the bomb part. Agent a little bit. There's the bomb, and this is trouble now. 20 seconds, and they keep fighting. Gade and Config getting a couple of good kills. Only 17 seconds. Again, this is so close to the time running out. Finally, they're going to get it, and I think they've got the option for it here. Tabs an instant execute, and Yugi, oh no, he has to come. He does get the bomb plant down, but Config is miles away right now. They're going to go straight for the 10-second defuse, and yeah, they know where he is. Flashbangs and everything else. There's no chance whatsoever. What a steal from Big. I said his name at the very start after the pistol on Tizian again delivering the Deagle kills. Easy rounds, and suddenly it gives a lot of confidence to Big. Jumping down to the low ground, but they're getting shut down here. These SMGs are just fine. Aid, but not getting the last kill. Six to three now. Sneaking up, and you're right, he's gonna have to go for it here. Smuya executing conflict, instant headshot. Gade's gonna win the fight against next. That is big news now. Maybe they could get something done. There's only 10 seconds. It just doesn't seem like it's possible any longer. Yugi does get the kill, and he's got one chance for a bomb plant. Can anybody stop it? They really want to get close enough to do it, but the bomb is down, and it doesn't even matter. They still get picked up, Tizian and Tabson, to close out the round. They're just looking for the remaining AWP, and that will be 7-3. to three. Moses, finish the sentence for me. Optic may be losing, but at least... At least they have more than one round. You want to see that, and obviously the whole purpose of these best of threes is to determine which is the the better team to make it there. Bit of a, bit of a scary moment for Smuya, but he's going to be fine. Tizian is 13 and three at the moment. Starting this game off really well in this opening half. Cautiously checking down ladder room, and they see nothing. Here come the smokes. This time with the CZs, you know, they've got three of them. They can try and be a little bit more aggressive. They can try and kind of circle in, but four players out here, and Tizian will have a fast flank boost up on top of the train. There's the first op shot. These officers are doing so much damage. Spuya tracking him through the smoke. Double kill for the CZs, but tough chance to win this at a two on three. Yeah, that's a great flick. Again, the bomb plant is going to be a big problem. In a 2-on-3 like this, as soon as you're planting the bomb, you're essentially playing a 1 versus 3 so someone's occupied doing that, so not easy. Convict going down, Tizzy, and somehow finding the headshot. Not clear how, and now Gabe to get shot down one way or the other. Got B with the double kill, 8-3. to three. At least the bomb plant will give them an enormous amount of money to work with, given the round loss bonus as well, so that's good news. Yeah, so now we're going to see the ops come out. I imagine at least Yugi's going to have one.
Yugi with the op has got to produce something for Optic. They haven't had the answers just yet. Do Bon Jovi fan Moses? No. No? I mean, that song's up. Optic being very passive to start the rounds. Again, it feels like Cajun, if you look at the minimap, Cajun and Yugi are all the way back with their smokes lined up already. So again, this is just another round where it's just blind hit the outer bomb site. Let's see what happens. That is a really, really good counter Molotov for the push that's coming out of main. They kind of have to wait for it. I mean, the call comes in from Popdog saying, well, we can't really do anything. And as they're waiting around, Smuya will find a kill. Next did take a bit of damage, but still, where's the entry? Snappy just went back up the ladder and bailed out. Good kill from Config, but Tizian's gonna push. They have the information, Gade wins that, and all of a sudden the kills go the way of Optic. Big may have miscalculated this, but Tapson's still alive, and he's been stunning in this series. Config behind, and he's got two different locations. Doesn't pick either one. The indecision has killed him, but Gavi with the flank. He can triple them all up, and he does. Steals it away again from Optic. Another timeout. Rounds. Well, I think 9-6 would be incredible. That actually is a pretty yeah. pretty fair scoreline if you're up to gaming. I think especially considering the sort of meltdown. Just through it. And no one is here to help Smuya. No, he definitely is going to need a backup. Oh, that's a free kill on Cajun. He was trying to, he was probably thinking he was on low ground. Snappy getting one kill from the other side. Very scary behind that train. Actually, Gade will pick up Gob B. Trading back and forth in favor of Optic now. 2-1-3 and Smuya is just very uncomfortable inside the smoke for the AWP and he's going to go down to Snappy. It's a good double kill for him. TZ in here should not be allowed to get back Ooh. into this round whatsoever. The bomb is being planted in front and TZ in. He wants to sneak up a little bit close. He misses the spray and Yugi will take him down. Fifth round for Optic and... They've done it. This They're, is... Yeah, quite well job. They have to do coming down ladder. He's also watching the flank for the moment. Next turns. A chance for Gade to actually get out. Next sees one pass. Gabi needs to handle that and he can't. That's config and they all go down and Tizzy had no real chance at winning this. He's already watching the flank. He's going to drop down and there it is. Six rounds for Optic, which is brilliant considering how lost they look in that, in that six round stretch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost a little bit shocked that they managed to get back to this level, um, getting the last couple of rounds in. They looked so defeated. I think that was the thing that really caught me. Which is cool. I mean, to see... Yugi spotting out one. It's not a lot of information, but it is something, and we'll see what happens when the couple of grenades start ringing in. That plus the guy in Pop Dog might just be enough to cause a full rotation. Snappy's going to be flanking in through Pop Dog, and they're going to try and see if they can boost on over. 17 seconds. This is pure madness. Cajun hitting headshots left and right, taking down Tabson and Tizian, and one chance, and that bomb is not going to be going down. Cajun, he wants this round. Gade and Snappy will close it out. Great triple for Cajun. That's very well done. That was safe. For being treated to Config with 19, Yugi with 18, Gade with 17. Gade and Cajun B this time, both buddied up at the inner bomb site very early. Looks like an outside hit. Indeed. Config gets one, but the return is instantaneous. Tabson taking him down, and the follow-up taking down Yugi. This is so good. Tabson continuing. He's back in action, and could have maybe been Tabson, but Smuya stole it from the high ground there, so... Now Gade just has to back off and wait. These it's, hits from Big are amazing. It seems like these, there's these timings, like before the round gets to even like a minute and ten seconds, where when Big hits it, it's, it's Optic is just like not entirely ready to, to take on the full force of it. Yeah. They've been able to shatter that defense a couple of times when they go for those aggressive plays. You know, one round is next just being pop flash, allowing him to duel. This round, obviously, just a contact explosion. Gade's going to try and survive. It would be, they could actually chase this down. I don't know if they're going to be too dedicated to it. It'd be great if they could get it. But Optic is going to have to reinvest a lot of money into this next round. And they have a lot to play with. I don't think they're going to be deficient in any way, but that's going to be tough. Nice. A ladder room. Because even if you lose mid and you have that player in ladder room, you can still recover from that situation. When he goes down, that's just one less defender and everyone's out of position. Got one more shot here at breaking maybe the economy of Optic. They've had to spend a lot buying that AWP and all of the utilities, so they've not been nearly as explosive, but it's getting there. Who knows what will happen if it goes to map number three? I mean, maybe the upward trajectory is going to continue for Optic Gaming. Certainly be worrying for Big if it does. 
some of the players, I mean, Convict has had a good game, right? 20 kills on him, yeah. 18 on Gade. It's just that there is a even further level of Convict somewhere up there that they, they don't want to see that. This is really cool. Smuya made a great presence in middle, dodging a lot of the up bullets that Yugi was putting out Tizzy and now creating attention over towards Ivy. Keeping people outside, and Gade is playing very far back. Tizzy, and if he gets this kill, the round might just be over. He spots out Snappy, forces him away. It's going to cause a rotation. Now we know it's on. Gade going to try and stop him from wrapping. Takes a little bit of damage. He's forced right into Smuya's crosshair. Great setup on this hit. And Tizzy is still occupying outside. He's got one. Yugi's got to handle him before he can rotate. But even the fact that he gets that kill, I mean, th they have to stay and fight him They're for saving. such a long time. Yeah, what else could they do, right? Tizian really has been playing maybe one of the guess, best games I've seen out of him for, for a long while here. It's not gonna. It's not something where you look at the series stats, and that's the trouble. If you look at the yeah. series stats at the end of this, you're not gonna look at Tizian and say, wow, what a great game. But if you go back to Dust2 early on in that T side, some of the rounds he played in, in here on, on train, in some ways he's been some of the mo one of the most impactful players we've we've had on this big side in the server. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, they are, it, there are some, some subtle some sort of close look for you rewatch uh, all of the games. Definitely has had a, a big impact. No fourteen, and that's an aggressive peak. Config with the AK-47 down to 17 health. Snappy running into the fire. This might be a little bit desperate. Tizian will take him down. Up to gaming, throwing what they have left at the wall, trying to figure out what sticks, and it doesn't really look good. Now they're in a tough spot. Config obviously getting legged, wanted to get that stance in ladder room again, and he's forced away from it. I think next might come out and duel once again. All of Big at the moment being patient, waiting for the response, and I think Smuya obviously just spotted Config peeking in. Yugi on top of the train now. They need something from somebody. Nothing being offered by Big. Next is going to have to go back and get the bomb, so this is going to be a pinch mostly from Ladder Room and Ivy. This is the benefit of having some early presence and finding these early kills is you can readjust with a minute on the clock and find a new angle of attack. Ball the top to one side, smoke to the other. Trying to see if they can make their way out Ivy if they can. This A defense is going to be so compromised with that orb looking all the way down that angle. And now they're going to try and see if they can boost up. Tizzy and standing, and Smuya jumping all the way up in the box. Look at what, how much he can see of this bomb site. Optic Gaming, it's a good thing that they've fallen so far back, otherwise they could get taken out. There is a bit of a flank coming in as well. This might all be it. 20 seconds missed opportunity there for Smuya. They need to get closer and get that bomb down now. It's making its way up the back wall. And next, can find the opening. A lot of damage being put out here as Convict does take down one on Tapson. They need more. And double kill for Convict. Third one in, and it's all done. They somehow turn that round in their favor. Optic Gaming. Quiet and silent. It forces Snappy to go back towards the inner bomb site, just to check, just in case. You find ways to get a few more picks. Nades towards the main choke point. Tapson is already out. Yugi's unaware. Yugi can get caught. So can Snappy. Oh, there's a dink immediately. He could get the follow up. There goes. Tapson does so much work. He opens up this bomb site. Oh my god. Out of all the ways, again, you could lose it. This is not how you'd want to do it. Three on four, they recovered some of the some of the rifles and some of the grenades down here on the big side. This is looking incredible for them. Cajun wants to get the wrap around. Gonna put out a Molotov to force him back, and that means they don't really know this fallback has happened. It's gonna be a good 10 seconds before they can go and check it, and when they do, are they gonna re quick on the rotation? Big are regrouping on this side. They really don't have a lot. One smoke and a flashbang here to set up something, but Gobby is gonna be smoking off, maybe towards Pop Dog, and then. We'll see what happens, yeah. Just making that one work. You have to keep two players outside if you're Optic as well. There's just too many choke points and oh, Config just wanted the intel. He found far much, far more. Cajun, the only one defending. He needs at least a double and preferably more than that. He's gonna take down Gopi, but are they gonna be able to swarm around him? 30 seconds. If they are too much focused on this, Gade might be in play in time, but he's not. Next will take him down. And now the bomb being planted. One versus three. <laughs> Big. I mean, this is cruel and unusual punishment. Taking down Optic and around with each rush outside. Tabson. Yeah.
They, I mean, they look much more assertive, and you can tell in some of those 2v2s, 3v3s, they're thinking about the game so much, and that's a big opening here for the British player taking down Config. He wants a chance to make it to the next level. I think he made some promises as well. Four on five now as Config has gone down. It is looking very dark here for the Danish side. Could be their last round of Counter-Strike here at this major. Hiding on the stairs as well, Tabs, and that's interesting. Just, just crouching in there. I have to play four on five with Deagles and a five seven and three flashbangs. You've got to feel like crap. Someone's going to have to hit some stunning shots. smoothie has got an angle over the whole bomb site. He's got a great flick over to Yugi. I think that may be the straw that just breaks this up. There goes Snappy, and it's going to be all over big. They're going to win this 16-14, a grind-out game. Able to do a lot of damage, and that's going to be it. Big is going to make the Legend stage. Yes, they are, and they certainly fought hard for it. I mean, Optic Gaming, they they put up a Ray find here on train, but obviously a lot of pieces missing in this one. 16-14, big. Now at the legend stage, a triple kill for Smoothie at the end, but I think Tabson really is the standout player throughout these two maps. Tizian, a lot of high-impact kills for him as well. They're so happy right now, and they deserve to be. That was, yeah, a lot of calling and a lot of great stuff going into this game for the big organization, so you've got to give them credit for that. Well done. A great progression of this organization. Another organization, much like Tai Lu, where, you know, they, they've been working and building towards this yeah. for some time and seeing that hard work pay off and seeing it not only pay off, but you can you can obviously tell inside of the server, which is really, really cool to watch. Um,